guys and welcome back to another Dinosaur of the Day documentary. Today we're going to be talking about the Opabinia. Now you're probably thinking, what in the heck is an Opabinia? Well, it had nothing to do with dinosaurs and it was nothing like any other prehistoric animal. Just like trilobites, it didn't have any living relatives today. And unlike trilobites, who horseshoe crabs look like them, but they aren't related to horseshoe crabs, the opabinia had nothing that looked like it in these days, and it had nothing that it looked like back then, and it was had nothing to do with anything else back then. It lived at the time of when trilobites were around in the Cambrian. It started coming in the early Cambrian, so it was one of the first organisms with eyes, actually, but it didn't have just two ordinary eyes like we have. It had five eyes. It had four or two pairs of eyes, which made four, and then a spare one in the middle, and they didn't have pupils and all that stuff. It looked like, like lumps of coral or something growing out of their face. It was like like blue things. It was just weird. And it had a mouth kind of like a plesiosaur, but it didn't look like it had a face. And it didn't really have a nose because they were um, fish type of, they weren't even fish. They were just organisms in the water. And they were only the size of a finger. So even though they looked like giant aliens, they were the size of a finger, a human finger. So they were not that big. Thank you.